so that rear assembly is first on Tim's list of parts, and there are plenty of others too. The few R33 Skylines that entered Britain in the 1990s were all independent imports from Japan, so Tim is expecting parts to be hard to find. First stop is Jap Performance Parts, a veritable cornucopia of Japanese spares and some rather nice cars to add to the bargain. Oh yes, the original Celica GT. Oh my gosh, this place is mint. But will Tim get anything on his list? Hello mate. Hi there. How are you doing? Right, I'm looking for parts for an R33 Skyline. I've got a massive list. I don't want to terrify you, so if we can get a couple of them, I will be buzzing, all right? Okay. So here we go. You ready? Uh, brake discs and pads, coil packs times six. I need the rear stub frame, including the rear steering rack, near side drive shaft, all the suspension bushes, the gaiters. I need the service items, I need an auxiliary oh, belt, I need oil filters, I need the track rod ends, I need the cam belt, the bonnet, slam panel, the front indicator, I need the rear lenses, I need the wipers, I need the weather seal, the door seal, the window rubber, I need the clutch kit, and I need the flywheel, and I need the CV boot. There's your list. Tell me to go home. Well, if you've got a van and you've got 15 minutes, I can sort all that for you now. What? That's not a problem. What? All of it? Yeah. What a result. Like all Tim's birthdays coming at once. Right, follow me to the toy shop. Oh, yeah, the toy shop. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll carry these. <laughs> Skylines might have been few and far between in Britain, but this place imports new and second-hand spares direct from Japan, where the cars weren't so rare. You sure you're right there? Yeah. Great news for Tim. Actually. I'm going to go put these on reception counter, all right? 